take care of you fill your cup so once your your cup is full whatever overflows that's what you're able to give to people that's what you're able to invest in you know what i'm saying but like fill your cup first They calling me splurge, let me jump right off the curve. Yeah. Make this spread fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Yeah. Crack up the phone, I swear. Keep me a stick if they purge. Young, I don't wanna, they working my nerves. I'm about to pull us a serve. Yeah. Fucking this bitch like a purge. Yeah. Smack from the back of a perm. Yeah. Ice. The bird, shit, you know, all you little turds. Can't take that dick with your turn. In my own land, we can't merge. So, with no hands, you can learn. Let's see how much you can earn. Why me go good like the word? And I ain't smoking no shirt. I'm with the B with P Lady. Keep P, keep P. I love my bitches, this pretty. They showing their titties, it's up to the ceiling. I let them run through a million. I rock with a really, let's fuck on a bit. I'ma get down to the gritty, then fuck up the city, the home of the villains. To see one of fulfilling yeah. Smoke out the pound when I'm chilling yeah. Trapping, I made me a killer yeah. Look, I got everybody wishing yeah. I hope you play your position yeah. I don't want nobody listening yeah. I see the whole precision yeah. Give us my only decision Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are not new, I love you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you so much for tuning into my channel and just rocking with me, okay? I've been doing YouTube for a really long time, so I appreciate you oh so much. If you're an old subscriber, new subscriber, I love you. If you are new, hey girl, hey, if you subscribe, I can love you too. So like, come on, join the fam. Let's start our bond or whatever, cause I like to think that we have a family bond on my channel. Okay, we are sisters, we are girlies, we are friends. So, yeah, join the winning team, okay? Um, so, good morning. You just saw that I made breakfast. I basically meal prepped for the entire week so I can just grab and go, okay? It's going to be so easy to just have a slice of banana bread with a little bit of honey on it, pop two egg bites in the air fryer or have my breakfast for the day and I don't have to worry about what I'm going to cook in the morning before my workout or before work. Love that for me, okay? So right now, I'm like refreshing my hair because I was laying down soaking on the phone with my boo thing or whatever and girl clearly I didn't put enough gel on my hair this morning because my hair got frizzy on my side but I just got back from the doctors okay we're gonna be a little vulnerable this morning um <laughs> I had to go in for my like you know annual checkup okay this is your reminder, girl, like if you haven't gotten a pap smear in a really long time, you need to go get you one bookie, okay? Um, Tara's being big sis today. Get on your P's and Q's, okay? Yeah. And then, especially if you have multiple sexual partners, like, baby, go get you some sexual health tests done because one, one, no mishaps, all right? I used to be a sexual health tester, so I'm always going to advocate for that. But, yeah, y'all, I went to the doctors and I stepped on that motherfucking scale. Baby, you see I'm in my workout gear. I stepped on that scale, y'all. I weigh. 150. I weigh 150 pounds. 150.5 to be exact. I'm just like a little like razzled in the brain because I don't step on scales a lot. You know, I don't have one. Okay? It is in Say it to me because y'all like I'm only 5'2. Girl, that's obese. I know, I know Google like be lying, but if you look up the average weight for my height, I'm supposed to be like 125. <laughs> now I feel like that's really for like the palm colored folks. You know, I don't really think that's for me and my body type and my my people. But y'all, that is too much. I don't know. Like, for my height, I don't want to be 150 pounds, baby. I just, actually, I really don't care 
what the scales say i just need to recomp you know i need to reposition where the fat and where the muscle is on my body so if my waist was skinny mini and my ass is kapawe i'm good with being 150 pounds i really don't care so that's what i'm about to do um we're about to go work out okay i am i'm vowing i'm vowing to myself that i will work out every single day even if it's just a walk i have to walk at least 30 minutes a day because this fat needs to shed i'm too chunk monk in the midsection and it gets to go okay when she did my blood pressure i just felt her squeezing all of my fat and i'm just like i don't know y'all i'm being really hard on myself right now and please don't take me serious i just have to be a little um dramatic before i realize that everything is okay <laughs> um but i do want to do this little 30 minute a day challenge so if you want to join me comment down below let me know okay we can keep up on each other with that being said, before I go to the gym, I wanted to put y'all on to something. Y'all know I'm big sis. I'm your girl. I'm your bestie. And I want to show y'all how to get free stuff, like free products, whether that's hair products, makeup, home decor, home essentials. I've been getting free stuff and I'm like racking up to the point where I kind of want to like slow down a little bit. I do, but I don't because getting free stuff is so freaking fun. So let me show y'all everything I got for the free ski and then I'm going to tell you how I got it. So I got these for free. These are perfumes. They smell cool. Um, Friday music is my favorite. I got two perfumes by Ellis Brooklyn. Um, this one is Sunfruit. It smells so good. The B one smells okay. Got her for free i do think she smells like a little bit like alcohol for some reason i don't know my nose may just be sensitive i got this bomb fall essential fragrance candle not fragrance candle from apotheke absolutely love her she's blue i didn't expect her to be blue from how she smells but she smells so stinking good and it's large like hello that's like half the size of my head for free um i got this hair repair hair repair girl reparative hair mask from um bliss it smells like blueberries i actually got two of these they when they send you products they send you two of everything i gave one to my man my man my man and they just sent me over this um blueberry curl control jelly that i'm going to be uh that i'm going to be testing out really really soon so yeah i had got a ton of stuff from um so roger p henson's line these are just two of the items that i keep under my sink everything else is in my shower um i have a throw blanket on the way for my bedroom so when you see some bedroom decor um coming up really soon that's why i have so much more stuff i just don't feel like compiling everything together but everything was free 99 okay i didn't pay not a dime i didn't pay for shipping i didn't i didn't have to sell my soul um i ain't had to sweat my legs <laughs> i didn't have to do anything but make content okay and the content that you make only has to be on your social media for 30 days you um make sure that you follow the guidelines within the briefs um when it comes to prepping your content you post it and you notify them and you basically get everything from a credit so they start you off with one credit um and then they give you another credit um when you complete the content and it's like so this is so cool like this is such a cool opportunity for micro influencers ugc content creators or just content creators in general it gives you the opportunity to practice okay i feel like i haven't done many product reviews in a while so that's why i wanted to do it personally i feel like when it comes to content sponsor content i was doing hair videos and then i stopped i jumped right on the lifestyle and then i didn't keep the flow going you know so this was a really cool opportunity for me and you get free stuff like what how, how can you be that so let me tell you how apply for skeepers okay i'm gonna put the link in the description box or I'm going to put it in the comment section, whichever one y'all tend to read more. All you got to do is do the application process. I forgot, but I feel like it was very easy. And then you add all of your social media. Once you get approved, they give you your credit and you can shop. They have a long list of products to shop from. Girl, right now they got stuff from Olaplex. 
Um, they've had Dipti candles. They have Tatcha skincare. Okay, they have so much like high end stuff too. So if you want to try something, but you don't know if you want to spend your money on it, girl, go to Skeepers first. Like literally how I do things, I'm like, hmm, I need some hair products right now. Let me go to Skeepers. Instead of going to CVS, Target, Walmart, Amazon, girl, go to Skeepers and shop for free. Okay, and if you really like something, you can go purchase it on your own. But like all this stuff be full size. They show you how much it retails, like the retail price for everything is. Um, it's so cool. And the shipping is fast. Let's talk about the shipping. They ship quicker than regular stores. T, right? Like, you could spend your own money, order online, and wait a week for your products to come in the mail versus Skeepers because they already have the stuff in-house. I feel like that's how it works. It gets to you so fast. And they give you 21 days to do the product review so you don't even have to rush. It's a win, 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 win situation. Like, yeah, if you are a micro influencer, UGC content creator, content creator in general, um, you're just starting out and no one, like these brands aren't throwing money at you yet, but you want to show the world that you know how to, you know, sell a product and do a product review within your content, girl, get on Skeepers, okay? I'm literally putting y'all on. I am literally, I'm giving the, I'm giving the juice to my competition because now I'm about to be fighting with y'all to get a product because sometimes products run out and they'll tell you you're, they'll tell you you're out of stock. They'll tell you that something is out of stock, but yeah, girl, it's so easy. You apply for it. You do like a quick little blurb. I have, this is another tip. I have like five paragraphs on the side in my notes that I click from and I choose from. So I have one for hair care, makeup. Um, like lifestyle, home decor. Um, I have one for perfumes. And then another one that I can just change words out of and, you know, edit. And you upload it. And it's, it's boom, easy like that. They'll respond to you and say you got approved for it or you got denied. If you get if you get denied, they give you your credit right back so you can go shopping again for something else. Um, and they'll tell you if it's out of stock. That is so stinking easy. So never say Tara ain't put y'all on. The crazy thing is I have so many great tips, tricks, techniques, and different opportunities that you guys can take advantage of in my ebook. It's on Etsy. I'll put it in the description box and the comment section down below so you guys can check it out because i'll be giving y'all the tea so enough of me rambling i'm about to put all this free stuff back and i'm about to go to the gym yeah also i did my nails last night so sticking cute y'all know we in a fall when i pull out the black frenchies i love me some frenchies so um i'll probably insert the footage for y'all because y'all love my nail content it does really good on my channel so yeah i'm gonna show y'all how i hand painted my own frenchies so let's roll the clips everybody wanna say shit i don't care what they say about us now Wanna fuck it all up now Yeah All up yeah. Yeah. I like bad bitches Mad bitches If you ain't one honey Think you can't sit with us You can't sit with us I like bad bitches Mad bitches If you ain't one honey Think you can't sit with us been a couple of days later um what i wanted to do in this vloggy vlog was give y'all some content outside but miss ophelia the storm she's out there doing her big one and it's been raining for the past couple of days and it just looks horrible outside so i'm not going out there so hence why i'm here with freshly washed hair because instead of vlogging outside i'm just going to give you guys a quick natural hair update i thought y'all would enjoy that considering i did do my big chop 
on YouTube and my other social medias. So this is what my natural hair looks like um, without any product whatsoever. She feels super soft. I just co-washed her. I didn't even use actual shampoo. But I am about to get into some um, content for Tymo. If you've ever seen this brand, yeah, girl. They sent me a hair straightener. Now that I don't touch my hair, I made it look crazy. But this for I they sent me one of their hair straighteners, so I am about to test that out as well as their heat protectant. I'm gonna apply the heat protectant before I blow dry my hair, and then we're gonna see how their straightener works. Okay, y'all. Disregard this right here. I'm currently filming the content for a time mode, but you guys, this thing clearly works. Okay, um, I blew this side of my hair out using my Revlon blow dryer. I like to do um cool heat, which is why it's like super puffy and then i used the timo straightener this is what it looks like and it straightened my hair pretty darn well um it could have got even straightener if i went up on the heat but i'm only doing 320 because i don't want any heat damage um and i wanted to talk to you guys about my journey and show y'all pics as well because Girl, my hair has been through a lot and I feel like I'm finally getting it back on track, but I want to make sure I don't go backwards, which is why I'm only using 320 heat. But basically, I had terrible heat damage. I'm going to show y'all a picture. Yes, this looks horrible, but this was only from putting heat on my hair once. Like literally, it was for Christmas a couple of years ago and I straightened my hair for Christmas dinner, girl. And it never went back. Sorry, I did my makeup, but sometimes it itch in my nose. <laughs> But I did my hair for Christmas dinner, and when I tell y'all it never went back correctly, it never reverted back. Like, it, it was damaged immediately. I knew. I was like, oh girl, we done fucked up. So really trying to get my hair back on track. I got into using old plaques. Y'all, I was doing everything in the book that they said to do to revert your hair from heat damage, and nothing was working. And even though, okay, I'm not, I'm lying. I saw some of my hair like starting to revert back, but I wasn't able to retain length. Okay, because I've done videos. I've done a video on FLG before. I've done a video on other blacks. They work, but they don't work quick enough if you have such horrible damage like I did. Hence that photo. Lord, I hate looking at it. It looks like an afro mixed with ramen noodles. Ugh, I hate it. But you're not going to be able to retain length. And that was my issue. My hair was starting to pop off in the back at that line of demarcation between like the like healthy hair and the ramen noodles. And I just I was just like if my hair won't pop off and break off, I might as well cut it. Okay, so it can actually be healthy and grow back. So that's what I did. So yeah, that's what I did. And now as you can see, all my hair is the same exact texture. And I love that for me. And my hair is super thick from roots to tips. Love that for me. So, yeah. My hair is super choppy because of how I cut it. Well, I don't care. Though. I'm just going to let it keep growing out. And it's all nice and thick. She's all healthy. She's too thick to the point where I want to go in with some, like, some shears and like thin her out or a thinning comb and thin her out but no i'm just gonna wait until the front of my hair gets to about where the rest of my hair is and then i want to get a v-cut so i want the front of my hair to be shorter and the back of my hair longer because that's how it's going to naturally be anyways um and yeah we just gonna wait until it grows all the way back but i wanted to update y'all because that cut really saved my life all right y'all so final product or whatever this side's already getting fuzzy this is why i don't mess with straight head like regardless my hair is gonna frizz right back up i'm trying to keep this in the same location so my video has the same angle each time i i um you know turn the camera back on but let's see what it look like from the back y'all i'm scared <laughs> at this point i'm scared but this is her all straightened out. Um, it's super duper uneven because this side is much shorter than this side because I had more damage on this side. And my front is way shorter than the back. Let me look at myself though. Hmm. 
but yeah y'all she's healthy and that's all i could ask for and i don't know if you could tell but you see how like you can definitely tell on this side the hair is already short and i feel like having a v-cut would be so cute and it's not common right now i feel like right now everybody rocking bobs but yeah like get into the health baby get into the Okay, she got body, she got movement, she's gorgeous, she's pretty, she's beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna do like a half up, huh, I'm gonna do a half up, half down, little like situation or whatever. I'm back. Okay, y'all, so here's the final product. She's cute or whatever, just a little natural half up, half down. So here's the front, here's from the side. <laughs> And here's from the back. Um, I'm actually super excited to know that I can now do this style. Like the back of my hair, for the most part, is pretty even. So, and we and and and, and we got a little hang time her. So yeah, that's good to freaking know. Okay. Um, how I did it was I put my hair in a little rubber band like that, and then went ahead and just you know do the root. Put a claw clip on it and the back is just out what i'm going to do now since my content is done i'm going to show y'all how i'm gonna wrap my hair tonight got me a flexi rod i wish i had the big gray ones or the big purple ones and i'm just gonna pull the hair i don't know if you can see that and i feel like my underarms may need to be shaved so not too much <laughs> and i'm just gonna wrap the hair around it and then like roll it up as tightly as I possibly can and then create a little donut out of it like so like that and then with the top like my ponytail I'm basically gonna do the same thing but I start way higher up because I know that most of these hairs are short and they're not going to work around anyways Once we have it kind of sort of wrapped as best as we possibly can, I'm going to secure it like a little donut. Lord, you see that end is sticking out. Mm. Anyways, <laughs> and now I'm just going to put on my satin scarf and then go to sleep. Dang, y'all, this basically is this video, so I got to close out the video with my bottle on it. Crazy. That's crazy. Storm Ophelia really like messed me up. But it's okay because y'all gotta stay tuned to next video. We is ready to go to sleep. Thank y'all so much for tuning into today's vlog. Thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. We are so close to 70k. So yeah, make sure you comment down below what you want to see from me next. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye mamas. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 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 yeah.